using internet control message protocol to evade command and control detection. Kim, I hear there's a new pingback malware. Yeah, yeah, Ken. So, um, this this malware, uh, the pingback uh, malware, is using the ICMP protocol uh, or the uh, Internet Control Message Protocol. Um, whereas we, it, ICMP is normally used in networking or um, um, layers where uh, it's actually a, in the IP stack or the IP layer, but it's it's not part, um, TCP or UDP, but it's normally used um, in routing uh, or in the layer three where we can detect uh, whether a, a, a device is up, sending echo requests uh, to get echo replies back to make sure that devices are up and and to route through the network or trace route through our networks. Well, this particular ICMP tunneling uh, malware, ICMP tunneling isn't new. Uh, it's been around a while, but what researchers at Trustwave found uh, with this pingback is that it's, it's uh, utilizing uh, the ICMP tunneling to inject malware. So, um, so what it does is to um, to to use this uh, the pingback actually um, gets loaded by an actual um, dynamic link layer or DLL is what we call it in Windows um, for short uh, and so it's using this uh, Microsoft Distributed uh, Transaction Coordinator DLL um, or service rather I'm sorry legitimate service which loads the DLLs um, that um, that they were injecting. So they were uh, injecting this OCI DLL um, within, the, within the data stream of the ICMP tunnel, uh, which allows them to um, sniff while when it's uh, injected into the packets, uh, whereas it'll sniff what's out there on the particular Windows machine, which which uh, IPs are listening or whatever, in order for it to infect certain machines. So the actual o OCI DLL is not loaded by default. This is the this is the ticker is that it is not loaded by default. It's actual uh, Oracle ODBC DLL um, along with two others that are in the library. And so these, um, these hackers uh, were using this particular uh, ICMP echo request <coughs> to send a, a message sequence of numbers. So the message sequence numbers that they would use are 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 6 uh, to denote the information uh, contained in the packet so that they would know or keep watch of the actual message control or sequence that they're using um, to connect to the infected machine that they're infecting. Um, so Kim, but, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. Um, so it sounds like this, this malware is being loaded up as a DLL um, using, I think it's the, the DLL search order vulnerability, right? Where where you've got a DLL, you put it in the right place, and another program loads it up because it thinks it's the one it's looking for. But then it's using uh, ICMP for command and control. Is well, that the IC that? yeah. Well, so the ICMP is actually uh, evading the command and control. It's evading whatever con command and control that's out there. So it's not that you know it's using the packet and it's injecting. Uh, using the tunnel to inject the, the, that particular so uh, the particular malware because it will it will call home but actually it will evade other command and controls that are more so not so much that um, it's evading um, detection. whatever detection that's going on 
on the network. So normally, on a normal basis, you're not looking for ICMP. You're not really paying a, a attention on the network itself because you have so many monitoring apps that look, you know, use ping and to detect and whatsoever on their network detect if a machine is up or whatsoever. But this particular malware, so what where it's found is that it normally there's a payload, right? So you're looking at the ICM packet. And so you, when you detect or when you um I don't want to say dissect that packet, what it uses is like you'll have a, a payload of you know, normally it's you know for transmission it's 1500 bytes, right? So there's a eight bytes at the ICMP uh, header level, and then you have 1492 uh, bytes in the data level, right? So what they do is inject that inject that particular um, um, malware into those uh, packets when they're sending it to the, the the host that they want to infect. But like I said, they're sniffing to see which ones they can infect, right? But does the malware actually infect hosts via ICMP traffic, or is it just using it? Is it just using ICMP as a way to call home about it's, the it, Yeah, it's using, it's using the ICMP as a way to transport that that particular packet, the pet transport that data to okay. infect, right? So it, it sounds like um, that there's a limited set of commands that they can yes, in, it essentially is. Yeah, inject so they can, into the ICMP. So exactly. That might include telling whatever infected host, hey, go go download download this upload file or upload right. this file exactly. um, or exactly. execute the payload. Um, so it sounds right. like there, there's some kind of limited amount of uh, capability to, so, to do things, potentially via shell. Exactly. So it has a shell execute. It does. So the pingback supports only those four, which was with, that they found out. But at, it's ongoing, like the research is still ongoing. But they found that you can do a download, upload, shell, uh, execute shell commands, or execute uh, exec, uh, exec command um, on the infected host. I'm just reading through the article here and trying to figure out, because I'm always curious as to how the malware gets delivered initially and all the different phases of its life cycle. And it sounds here that they don't, they're not sure how it got there in the first place from seeing that they found a sample of it. Um, so maybe there's a second executable that installs the malware first. And then what we're talking about here is the part that stays on the machine and and runs for the rest of his lifetime. Yeah, so that OCI DLL will stay on the machine, right? The infected machine. Um, but yeah, so it's loaded onto the machine, but it's 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 traveling or tr being transported within that particular tunnel, uh, ICMP tunnel packet. All right, always neat to see um, different ways that this is done, and also. Uh, a good way of exercising our, our own thought processes as to how you might see this sort of thing. Um, uh -huh. ICMP, like you know, you said it's it's in a normal type of traffic that you would see on a network. People are trying to determine whether a host is up and responding. If there's no route, you'll get data back if you try and send an ICMP ping to a host. Um, I guess you really have to keep a, a closer eye on all the different fields that it supports because they're reusing one of the ones here. I think it's the sequence number, right? Or the yeah, the sequence, the message, yeah, the message sequence. Okay, number. so the message sequence number tells you what kind of message you're you're sending within this pingback malware's use of it, and then the data section, I guess, contains the the payload. Okay.